In this video, I'm going to show you just how easy it can be to get some really authentic Spanish guitar or flamenco sounds coming out of your guitar. So in the first part, we're going to have a look at chords and we'll go to a close up and I'll show you exactly what you need to do with your chords in order to get some really nice flamenco sounds coming out straight away. Let's begin by taking some chords we already know into a progression. So we're going to start off with just an A minor chord, going to a G, going to an F, or if you want to hold your F in this easier way, that's okay as well. And then we have an E. So we already have quite a flamenco sounding progression there with just those basic chords alone. But we can enhance the strength of that flamenco flavor quite a lot just by making some small adjustments to those chords. So we're going to keep our A minor as it is for now. But for G we're going to go instead to a G7. And that's where you have your first finger here on the first fret, first string. From there we're going to go to this mysterious F. All I've done there is I've kept my bar chord shape where you have your bar with E major in front. But I simply lift up the bar so now my first finger is only holding down the first fret on the sixth string. And that leaves the second string and the first string to ring open. And when those two strings ring open against that F, you get a really strong flamenco flavor. And from there, we're gonna to go to another very strongly flavored flamenco chord, which is E flat nine. So you're gonna leave your fourth finger where it is. And your second finger is going to come up here on the 5th string 2nd fret and your 1st finger goes here on the 1st fret of the 3rd string. And that gives us an E flat 9. You can hear the flat 9 tonality upsetting the consonants of the chord. So now let's put the progression together again, A minor. How we instantly get a much stronger Spanish guitar flavor. For this next progression we're going to apply an even stronger flamenco flavor to the chords. So the basic progression would be going from a D minor down to C into a B flat could hold your B flat this way and then into an A. So once again D minor, C, B flat and A. Now in order to really give that um, a stronger flamenco tonality we're going to change the chord shapes and our D minor is now going to be just the open fourth string with three and three on the third string and the second string and the first string is just going to be left open so we have from the fourth string down that's going to be our D minor shape from there for the C you're just going to place your second finger on the third fret of the fifth string it's going to be the C for B flat you take away your second finger and put your first finger here on the first fret again on the fifth string so, so far, can you see how we've kept fingers three and four as an anchor point throughout the progression? And now finally, we go to A flat nine. So here you're going to leave your third finger as the connector and you're going to place your second finger here. So your first finger on the second fret of the fourth string and your second finger here on the second fret of the second string. And so you get a mysterious flat nine. That tonality coming through. So in the progression, it sounds like the final chord should be a place of rest. But it's not because the flat nine is upsetting the consonants of the chord. So you can still hear that there's tension or energy inside that chord that has a desire to be resolved 
And this is how a lot of flamenco harmony works. Mm -hmm. 